Hello everyone, this is Michelangelo from Kratos Machines and this is our video manual for XPFX, our brand new module. So XPFX, Il Sole e la Luna, it's an expansion module for Sibilla, our drone machine. And like Sibilla, it's available in both the black and silver aluminum panel. Uh, it's available on our online shop and via our major retailers, uh, so if you're interested, we'll leave all the links down below. So what is XPFX? Uh, XPFX is, as we like to call it, it's a dual expansion module for Sibilla. Uh, it completely relies on it and you actually connect it to the main unit with a small ripple cable that is of course included in the shipping box. And basically, depending on the firmware you are running on Sibilla, it can either add as an actual expander, giving you more control over the internal parameters of Sibilla, like the internal envelope and the resonant filter, or with an alternative firmware, it can actually transform the whole duo into an effect, able to process any input sound the same way that Sibilla does with its internal waveforms, creating a sort of where glitchy pitch shifting delay effect. Now about the programming side, in order to be able to use XPFX with Sibilla, we actually need to update your module with two new firmwares. Uh, the programming procedure is very similar to the one used to update Sibilla, but if it, with a few extra steps. So we actually decided to make a separate video for that. And right now we'll just jump into the main features of the new module. So right now Sibilla is running the X firmware Il Sole which is definitely the simplest one so we'll start with this one. So from from a graphical point of view everything regarding Il Sole on in the new module is written with golden graphics so we have actually um, attack release thank you. Um, in the software, uh, everything regarding Sibilla stays untouched, so all the parameters are always the same. So we have like the main pitch here, harmonics and superharmonic generation from for left and right, uh, LFO movement, granular sampling, white noise, and what it changes is that uh, now the resonant filter is just a simple cutoff frequency, and you can actually independently control the Q peak with the new knob here. So we actually now have more control over the filter and we now have also more control over the internal envelope while tri when triggering Sibilla with the external gate. So we now have up to 5 seconds of attack and 5 seconds of release. So about the internal envelope we now have up to 5 seconds of attack and 5 seconds of release. So let's have a listen with the keyboard. So fast attack and release, a little bit slow attack, it can go up to 5 seconds, and same things for the release. So in this way we can actually shape more complex uh, drone sequences without the need of external VCAs and utility modules. And of course having such a super fast attack and release allows also to uh, create some percussive sound playing with like super harmonic generation filters and why not also the release. So basically, um, the X firmware was mainly meant to 
finally complete Sibylla with what we think was missing, so more control over the internal envelope and the filters to finally be able to create more complex uh, sounds and drones without the need of external VCAs and other utility modules. So let's jump into the FX firmware and see what we have from a graphical point of view. So when using this firmware we have to look to all the white graphics from the black panel and black graphics for the silver one. So the new controls on the module will be dry wet, buffer size, feedback and a freeze button that only works with the FX firmware and it's not available for the expander version. So with this firmware we mainly try to answer to a question we've been asking ourselves for the very first Sibylla showcases and the question is how does any other instruments or your favorite oscillator would sound like if processed the same way that Sibylla processes its internal waveform. So basically FX transformed the Von Duo FX plus Sibylla into an effect unit with stereo audio input and stereo audio outputs that can process any input sound the same way that Sibylla processes its internal waveform so creating two pitch shifted audio tracks whose stereophony is affected by LFO movement, resonant filter, white noise source and sample bits of audio. FX also has configurable Eurorack line audio input uh, there is a small switch on the back that you can use to switch between line input and Eurorack input audio level so that you can also straight plug in your favorite line instruments and process its sounds with Sibylla. Of course when you're using the line input you also have a dedicated line gain knob to tame your audio. So in FX mode Sibylla's parameters perform the same functionalities as always but of course applied to the incoming audio signal. So at the moment we are listening to some square wave oscillators from coming from this unit here. Uh, so let's bring in the wet signal. And instead of having like harmonic and subharmonic um, generation, we now have two independent pitch shifted audio tracks. Uh, we can of course pitch shift them independently. So we are pitch shifting on the left. And on the right, the stereophony is of course influenced by the movement of two free running LFOs that we have here. Like for Sibylla, they can go from extremely slow, 0.5 Hz, up to 5. We can boost them to audio rate. And of course, uh, like the latest Sibyl update, this LFO waveform can actually be modified with a double tap on the boost button for the LFO mode. Uh, of course, like for Sibylla, we can also add some white noise in the mix and we can actually shape the whole tracks with some, some filtering. And we can actually also add another sine wave to the mix. Uh, which is generated by this upper part here. We can control the volume of the new sine wave with the underwood knob and the pitch with the climb. Of course we can always use the Volper octave to control the pitch of these sine waves and we can actually decide to trigger these new sine waves with the trigger input. So in addition, Sibylla sampling delay network is now completely open and can be modified by the user. So the new controls are the buffer size, which controls the real-time sampling window length of all the audio which is sampled into this buffer, which is appro approximately like one, one second long. Uh, then we have the feedback control, which controls the amount of sampled audio which is also sent it back into the audio loop for the pitch shifted tracks and the grain knob which now controls the starting position of those sampled audio bits 
uh, the activity of the grain control still needs to be activated with a double tap on the center button. And we also now have a freeze button which freezes the buffer sides. Uh, this of course it's super fun if you want to create some kind of complex drone pads in the background but of course it's also really useful if you want to create uh, when using it with melodies if you want to create like some glitchy delay lines now and then for your melodies so we can do like These are the basics controls of XFX, our brand new module, the expansion module for Sibylla. It's available on our web shop and we are major retailers. Um, if you want to know more about it, there's plenty of information also on our website, klatasmachines.com and via our social media also at klatasmachines.com. We'll leave all links down below. Ciao!